I'm Pat Sells, I'm an equine vet and I work in private practice currently. I look after the horses on a successful thoroughbred stud called Windsor Park in the Waikato Valley. I'm lucky enough to work with a really fantastic team who understand, they're, they're very understanding of my main passion outside work and that is helping people in very poor countries by helping their working animals. So my job's very seasonal. That means outside the breeding season, I can find time each year to pursue this passion of mine. I've been involved in voluntary aid work now every year since I qualified from Liverpool Vet School in 2007. And most of that has been in Africa. When I shifted to New Zealand around four years ago, it was therefore a very natural move to, to team up with the Kiwi Care. And the following year, I was invited to, to join the Board of Trustees. I believe my strengths lie in clinical work, but also in community training. And this means teaching local people about the husbandry of their horses and donkeys, how to care for them, how to look after them, and how to use special equipment such as harnesses properly. When I was in Africa, one of my main research focuses was on pack and harness design. So that's a real area of interest for me. In the UK where I'm from, NGOs that are dedicated to equid welfare are fairly common and they're really well supported by the public. In the Southern Hemisphere, it's not the case. And Kiwi Care sets a precedent for being the first working equid charity in Australasia. So we've worked in Africa and India, but now we're focusing on the very poor communities of the South Pacific. And the reason is that they're right on our doorstep. So as such, we represent the only charity looking after the, the welfare of working equines and teaching their owners in the South Pacific. We collaborate with the Fijian Ministry of Agriculture and also an, an NGO that look after small animals called Animals Fiji. So by teaming up with those guys, we can increase our impact. Kiwi Care is a direct service provider, meaning that we run mobile clinics providing free veterinary care to these working animals. Now that's important, but the, the key here is, is that engagement of the owners of the animals because when they bring their animals to be given free veterinary treatment, that's a perfect opportunity to educate them about husbandry and how to look after their, their, their working equid. We also spend time engaging other stakeholders, such as community leaders, people that make harnesses, people that, that trim the feet of the animals. Um, and most importantly, the children. Because for kids that are born into very poor traditional communities, like the ones where we work, it's really important to get in there during that period of plasticity, during those formative years when they're school kids, in order to change their attitudes towards animals. By the time they're adults, the, it's, it's very difficult to change their perceptions, much less their behavior and their habits. We also focus on training so that we can encourage sustainable business in these communities. So that means training up people on the ground. So we already have a Fijian farrier who's doing very well on the mainland. Soon we hope to have a community welfare officer and someday even a Fijian vet. So in short, the special thing about Kiwi Care is our holistic approach, looking at the big picture. We provide free veterinary care but we also engage the community. We teach in schools and we train local people. Kiwi Care is growing rapidly. So as such, we need all those elements of a big organization that are necessary for success. So we're really keen for volunteers to, to give their time and skills pro bono, accountancy, lawyer, if people have skills with marketing or are good at fundraising. These are key elements that we're really desperate for. So the, the actual team on the coalface down in these target countries, that's a very small part of it. So please, just because you're not a, a vet nurse or a farrier, don't think that you can't help this worthwhile cause.